There's always room for improvement. Terrain nonetheless. We have a long way yet to go. This one's tough, but we have no choice. Luna, Let me know if you need healing. Luna, storm. Destruction! First strike! I'll take you! Storm! We should be able to cook here. The vermilion vegetation certainly gives this realm a distinct, if somber, ambiance. Seems like there's lots of fruit and plants that we can eat. I also can't help but notice the ceaseless howling of the wind. It should be easy to dry our laundry out here. I can't tell if these two are actually having a conversation or what. This is perfect! I'll have everybody's mouths watering when they see this! All done! Come and get it! Oh, did you fix horse sashimi again? You really like that stuff, don't you, Law? What can I say? It's easy to prepare however you like. What makes it so easy to prepare? It's all about the onion. You can change how you arrange it next to the meat, use less of it, or even take it out altogether. It sounds as though you simply dislike onions. I don't dislike onions. All I'm saying is the flavor of the meat changes depending on what you do with the onion. While that's true, somehow I get the feeling you just don't want to admit you're a picky eater. I agree. Here. You can have all my onions. Maybe you'll discover some new flavor for this dish you've never had. Just don't. That's... Uh, Rinwell, stop. Well then, how does it taste? All I taste is onions. I'll see you again tomorrow. Well, off we go. around here. Victory nonetheless. We have a long way yet to go.
What's this thing? I see plenty of ruins around here, too. It must have been a big town bustling with people back in the day. For Crown Contest participants, places such as these are but vectors for the astral energy they pursue. Similar to that windmill, for instance. No scratches on my shield or my armor. One of Hoodle's friends. Is there anything more magnificent than the musculature of a warrior? Perhaps it is in search of this perfect beauty that I myself am drawn into battle. Think this is one of the places where the Dark Wings and Almadria fought? I wouldn't be so sure. This place appears more ravaged by time than combat. Even if there are signs of destruction, it would likely have taken place during the Great Conquest of 300 years prior. And ever since, it's been a breeding ground for Zoogles, I guess.
No choice. Resonate with the uh, uh, earth. Eat them. Swallow them. Shattering the mega ray. I'm ready. 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 You're quite the gunslinger. I have to be, in this world. Don't worry, I've got your back. Refrain from losing. There's a nice breeze here. Disappointing. Now, where might those fish be? I've got something. Next time. There we go. Fishers always keep their cool.
You guys want to rest here? I hope we manage to catch Almadria soon. I hope so too, before she can cause any more havoc. <sighs> you okay, Rinwell? Oh, uh, yeah. Don't push yourself too hard now, okay? Okay. Thanks. <sighs> oh, Hoodle. I don't know what to do. Hey, that actually came out pretty all right, don't you think? Don't leave. Care if I hang out for a while? Shall we get moving? Dead end? No, there's an elevator. Looks up. Operational. I can't believe there's actually an underground harbor here. There are even boats docked. I only see Danny's. Think they were forced to work here? Probably. Let's see what they have to share about Almadria. You didn't happen to see a lord come by, did you? Sorry, friend, but she just left. Came by with a whole posse of underlings, boarded her ship, and took off at first wind. We damn near got blown away. She was that much in a hurry. Damn! So we missed her! You guys trying to go after her? Need a ride? Are you saying you know how to steer a ship? Spent most of my life chained to the deck of some ship or other. Yeah, I know my jib from my boom. 
We don't know how dangerous it'll be. Better you give us the boat and stay on solid ground. Whoa there! You been out on the water before? The sea ain't nobody's friend, you know. You need a sea dog like me or you'll sink her before she makes it out the harbor. We're losing time. Sir, we're in your debt. Now that's more like it. Name's Mahavar. Just give me a holler when you're all set and we'll set sail. This is like a dream come true. Never gotten a captain a ship before. Never would have thought I'd get a chance like this. Thank you, y'all. The pleasure's all ours. Think we'll catch up to her? Of Course we will. They got too much weight on them. Meanwhile, this ship's carrying nothing but us salty scalawags. They got a good head start on us, but we can take them. Do you know if there are any Danons on that ship? Couldn't say for sure. On the one hand, seeing as it's supposed to be something of another castle, I'd reckon they probably wouldn't let a bunch of Danons on board. On the other hand, I'd be real surprised if the Renans were able to pilot that thing all by themselves. In any case, it's gonna be a while before we reach her. Until then, you're all free to do whatever. And just don't fall in the ocean. I know Mahabar said we could take it easy, but there's not exactly a lot to do on this boat. I guess I'll check in on everyone and see how they're holding up. I took a look around inside the ship just in case, but I didn't find anything that looked like it might be suspicious. Thanks, I appreciate it. You know, it wasn't until I left Calaglia that I finally realized just how big the world is. When we tore down the wall in Calaglia, and I could finally see the horizon in the far-off distance, I had the exact same thought. Yeah, somehow the sea is different, though. I'm not sure just how to put it. It's almost as if it just... goes on forever. I bet my old man would have been blown away by this view. <laughs> yeah. Ever since he died, I've been thinking about what it was that he was really trying to say to me at the end. I keep going over his words again and again. And heck, maybe I'm just overthinking it all. But still, sometimes I wonder if it could have turned out differently. If there was something I could have done. But no matter how much I play it back, I'm still no closer to finding any answers. And then there's everything with Rinwell. I stopped her from killing Almadria, but was that really the right thing to do? Or did I just end up making things harder for her? I feel like such a screw-up. You're not the only one. I keep asking myself what Zephyr would have done had he been here. Like I think, how would Zephyr have handled Rinwell? Yeah, I think he definitely would have stopped her. No doubt about it. And that's exactly what you did, Law. I think he'd be really proud of you. Alfin. Zephyr's not the worst yardstick to measure ourselves against. Let's both do our best to make him proud. Sounds like a deal. Thanks, Alfin. Hold that pose long enough and someone might just come along and paint you. Any artist who'd see fit to paint me needs their eyes tested. What can you tell me about Almadria? Not as much as you'd probably wish. I only ended up crossing paths with her a handful of times, after I was chosen to be a lord on Lenigus. Ah, oh, right. I almost forgot about Lenigus. How much do you think they know about what's been going on down here? It's safe to assume they know everything though I know not why they choose to remain uninvolved. 
Perhaps they see what's been happening as just part of the ongoing crown contest. Even what Almadria did? Has it really reached the point where her actions are seen as normal? Not to my knowledge, no. At its core, the crown contest is a competition to see who can amass the most astral energy. And to amass such energy, slaves are needed to collect it from. It's therefore against the Lord's interest to kill them. So then why would Almadria do something like that? We must remember that time is running out in the crown contest. Perhaps her hand was forced, so to speak. It is a way to accrue astral energy faster and in larger quantities than through slave labor. Doing so kills off that labor force, obviously. But it is a means to an end, nonetheless. No one could have foreseen that something like the Hollowing would arise back when the contest was first conceived. Is becoming the Sovereign of Rena really that important to the Lords? Of course. It's the greatest prize one can attain in their eyes. In that respect, at least, I'm really not that surprised that Almadria resorted to what she did, as utterly despicable as it is. It's reassuring to hear you feel the same way I do. I worry that the only reason I never did anything similar in Menencia was due to my lack of ambition. If you didn't want to be reminded of your past, you could have just plugged your ears. You think too highly of me. I'm afraid I must respectfully disagree. I'm not nearly as virtuous of a person as you might wish to believe. If that's so, would you have been so shaken up when Kisara lost her brother? Why else would you turn your back on your own kind and choose to fight for Megal's dream? Aren't we just Danans? A curious choice of words. Did what you see in Mahog Sar hit you that hard? What Dead Eim did to that city? He didn't liberate anyone. Anyone who refused to follow him was an enemy in his eyes. Three hundred years of Renan rule taught him nothing. What I have come to understand is that the conflict extends beyond Danon versus Renan. There is an internal quarrel as well. I mean to bring about a true, lasting coexistence in Menencia. But there are more walls we must topple first. And you don't think you can pull it off? Well, you seem to think you can, at least. Does that make us enemies? Insofar as an exchange of swordplay, no, it doesn't. Not good enough for you? Are you really... <sighs> Forgive me. I will continue to fight by your side a while longer. That much I have decided. so good. Are you all right? The floor. It keeps moving. How can you stand it? How can you even stand? I'm not the best person to ask about discomfort. I can't feel pain, remember? I still can't believe what happened in Niez. Even now. As a lord, my expectations for Almadria were already pretty low. But the way she treated human lives like they're mere playthings. Yeah, and it wasn't as if the situation in Niaz was improving much to begin with. You mean Dead Eim. The whole reason I started fighting back was because of my anger at the atrocities of Renan rule. Back then, all I had to worry about was fighting the Renans for the sake of the Danans. But then I met Shion and the people of Menencia, and things became a lot more complicated. It's even messier now that we have to worry about Danans like Dead Eim. It used to be that the Danans were the ones in the right, and the Renans were the ones in the wrong. Though, maybe that was just a biased perspective from being on the side of the oppressed. Exactly. I'll never tolerate the Renans ruling over us, but nothing ever ends up being as black and white as you'd expect it to be either. That's clear to me now. That said, even putting aside bad apples like Dead Eim for a moment, you may be able to free the Danon people, but that won't undo 300 years of oppression. It'll be hard for them to not give in to their resentment. I think maybe that's why I clung to our dream so hard back in Menencia. Even if his motivations weren't pure, Dolim has a good heart. 
He didn't sink to the depths Almadria did. You don't understand. I'm saying that it goes deeper than that. This hierarchy we live in, it's not solely something the Renans invented. I remember a story Rinwell once told me. She said before the Renans invaded, we Danans had our own class system. We are the ones who divided ourselves. I saw it in Deadheim's eyes. He wanted to rule over others. To hear Bayfon tell it, Deadheim wasn't always that way. But as time went on, and he and the Darkwings fought the Renans, he eventually changed. I guess what I'm getting at is, if we defeat the Renans but just go back to the way things were before, was there even any point in fighting? But that world isn't the one you want to create, right? Maybe not. But to tell you the truth, these days I'm not so sure that dream is even possible. You have your promise to Megal, though. Your home and the people of Menencia are depending on you. I know. My brother. He truly believed in his dream of coexistence. And I suppose, even now, many people still do. And then, there's you. Who, me? You and Xion. <clears throat> Not sure I follow. Okay, then let me spell it out for you. How many other Renans and Danans do you know that get on as spectacularly as the two of you? I don't know that I'd say spectacularly. Well, I suppose it's really all a matter of how you look at it, isn't it? I really don't see what you're getting. Ugh. I think I'm getting seasick again. Sorry. Can you just give me a wide berth for a few minutes? Law is okay? If you're worried, why don't you ask him yourself? Yeah. I think maybe I should apologize to him, too. I should apologize to all of you, really. Us, too? Well, I was kind of lying to you all this whole time. I was blind to everything except my own revenge. I never even considered the struggles all of you might be facing. We all have things we'd prefer to keep to ourselves, Rinwell. So what if you had something to hide? It doesn't undo the good that you've done, or the people that you've helped save along the way. But that's not what I mean. I know. You're talking about Almadria, right? Yeah. I hate her, Alfin. I can't stop hating her. Even just thinking about her makes my head feel like it's going to explode. But it's not just her. I think about the way Law looked at me. I hated the Lord who killed my parents. And I hated the Renans I had to travel alongside. And yet, Cislodius Danans backstab each other like it's a normal way of life. And Mahag Sar has people like Deadheim. But then there are people like Law and Xion. It's all just too much. I don't know what to think anymore. Law never said that you had to forgive Almadria. It's only natural you would hate your family's murderer. But... But what? Law left home because of how much he hated his father. As a result of that, well, I think Law spent a lot of time thinking about how they never got to make things right. <sighs> and if I had to guess, killing Ganabel didn't make any of those feelings go away. Law let revenge fuel him, and I think now he's afraid you'll do something you'll regret. Afraid? Whatever happens to Almadria when this is all over is up to you. I'll respect whatever choice you make. 
Just think it over carefully for me, okay? You still have time. Okay. Thanks, Alfin. Say, um, back then, after the fight, I think I really made Xion mad. I don't know, though. Maybe it just looked that way. But I guess I just can't seem to understand how she feels. Do you know why she gets like that? Xion's... She can be a tough nut to crack. She doesn't really talk a whole lot about herself. It's just what she said about hate being a source of strength. Where did that come from? I wonder how it feels... not being able to hold another person's hand. Much further, you'll go overboard. Keeping an eye out for Almadria's ship? I'm looking at the ocean. The ocean? Yeah. The waves. They help me think. This world is filled with natural wonders. The icy air and white peaks of Cislodia, the lush green glades of Menencia, the harsh wastes of Calaglia. But Menencia has its lake of death, and Nias its ruins. And they wouldn't be there if it weren't for that contest. Say we actually manage to put a stop to the Crown Contest for good. What do you think will happen between the Danans and the Renans then? You first. Well, I... I want to believe that the coexistence we saw in Menencia can happen elsewhere, too. It's just... it's insane for all of us to keep fighting. If Menencia can do it, so can everyone else. Yeah, I think that would be good too. A world where everyone can get along. At least, that's what I've come to believe. You sure have changed. I can't lie to you. Since I was young, I've looked down on the Danans too. But I've seen a lot. And I see things differently now. I've seen so many ugly and terrible things in this world. And yet... They didn't come from just the Danans. And the good things, too. They didn't come from just the Renans. Kindness and cruelty exist on both sides. A person's race doesn't factor into it. So, I guess you're right after all, Alfin. I have changed. You know, I've never actually touched another person like this. Shion. Ever since I was on Lenegas, I've always been alone. Even after I came to Dana. Always. And now? Do you still not remember your past? No. Sometimes it feels like I can almost remember. But then this mask stops me. 
The mask keeps you from remembering why you have the mask in the first place. It's a little ironic, isn't it? A little. <sighs> well, it won't be long now before you're rid of those thorns, you know? <sighs> Only two lords remain. And once you have their master course, you'll be able to create the Renis Alma, right? Then you can... Uh, Shion? Sorry, it's nothing. Promise. You're right, though. It'll all be over soon. I never could have made it this far on my own. I have everyone to thank for that. Including... Especially you, Alfin. Don't worry about it. We're friends, after all. Yeah, we are. I wonder how much longer it's going to be before we catch up to Almadria. I'll ask Mahavar. Look who's up! Good timing! We're closing in on her stern as we speak. That's the ship? She's huge! Law, go gather the others, will you? Think you'll be able to flank them without getting spotted? Yeah, with the fog as our ally, I think I might just pull it off. Long as we ain't too noisy, we should be okay. What'll you do if they catch on to us? Not much I can do. A ship that size, they'll probably blow us to bits before we ready cannons. <laughs> 